Hello, my fine friends. Sorry, uh, a bit late there. Couldn't work out which button I was meant to press to make myself come on. I've had uh, one whiskey and uh, got the mics the wrong way round. It's been a while since I've done this. Oh, seven days. Oh, okay. It just feels like a lifetime because I've been looking after my kids with no help. Well, you know, apart from, from my wife. It's almost like it's our own fault for having them, right? But we have to look after them 24 7. Ah, oh. tier four. Um, here we are back for uh, another two matches from the first round of the winter tournament. So uh, exciting. Well, the first match I, is a bit of an underwhelming one, I have to say. But the second match is the stuff of dreams. You could not have predicted this in a million years that Me 3 would be drawn out of the bag against Me 1. They've played on two previous occasions, Me 3 victorious both times. So uh, I am drinking the Glenlivet. Get it right. Sit down, Jim. Uh, just because they gave me four bottles for free. Nearly threw the second bottle. You do the math. I've drunk the 18 years. That's all gone. My wife said some, not much. And um, uh, I've had most of it. But this is this nearly finished off the twelve-year-old. Um, working my way down to ones that are newer, which are presumably better, right? Because these older ones will have gone off. That's the way I look at it. Keep the best to last. So um, they're not sponsoring the podcast, though. No one's sponsoring this um, this tournament again, as usual. If you want to talk, sponsor it, get in touch. Um, at the moment, we have at least 133 viewers. Let's have a look and see what you say. 156. 156 viewers. So, and to be honest, these people would do anything I tell them to do. So, if you have a product you would like to sell 156 versions of, I mean, if that was a luxury car, that'll make you a lot of money. If it's uh, some penny chews, still £101.56, isn't it? I mean, presumably it cost you something, so maybe half that. Um, they love me, that's all I can say, and why wouldn't they? I'm a great guy. What a fantastic year 2020's been, I think we'll all agree. A fantastic year for self-playing snooker. Um, there has never been so much self-playing snooker since the early 80s, <laughs> when there probably was more. But that was not broadcast, sadly. Um, so, um, terrific year. What, what a, I mean, I, I hope everyone else has had a good a year as the... As the many me's, many of whom were born this year, most of them in fact, only me one, me two, me three. So two of the ones today have existed, pre-existed, but uh, all the others have been dredged up. Um, pretty tired today, I have to say. It's been uh, it's been a fun Christmas in a lot of ways. Uh, just that me, my wife, and the two kids, uh, and all the me's, obviously, um, and all the puppets, and. Uh, it's just been it's just been very tiring. I've took them out for a I tried to sleep in this morning but I couldn't. I um took the kids out for a walk in the cold today. My sore throat's fine. It wasn't that bad. I'm not ill. Just like it's Christmas and I've been overdoing it. It was not COVID. It's not COVID. It could be because COVID could be symptomless, but uh, I do I feel fairly well. I'm just tired from lack of sleep, I believe. We have not seen another human being for well over a week, so I don't think it's possible for us to... I mean, I've walked past people on the field. They could have spat at me, I guess. Uh, the Kitchen Cupboard saga was good. That doesn't even make my 2020 highlights on uh, on my website. You can go and check that out if you want to see all the stuff I've done this year. I'm most proud of this. Uh, myself playing snooker sticker album. I think that's the best thing I've ever created. I hope you've all got your own copy. Uh, oh, well, I remember, if you want a Kindle version of my book, 1001 Emergency Questions, which I think has a bonus 20 or 30 questions in the back as well, so it's well over a 1,000 questions. It's currently 99p on Kindle. I don't know if that's true of other ebooks, but you can check. Um, and uh, buy it. You know, that's what I would say. Buy it. It works well on a Kindle. You don't have to have a Kindle. You can download a Kindle app, and uh, then you can ask people questions wherever you are in the world put it on your phone 99p it's a steal what is that a tenth of a penny a question or a hundredth of a penny i don't even know um have a look have a look and see if it's on google play other fire loo lure i'm gonna win champion champions taskmaster don't you worry 
that's the only man in the lineup I think that I will find it pretty easy to defeat the women I'm up against not sexist just true um, I have no worries I will just keep my route one down the line I know Ed Gamble is uh, on the, the I stick with what I said um That's what I said. I'm trash talking him. Sorry, them. Everyone's saying, hey, Gamble, you've got, you've got no sense of humour. What's wrong with you? Don't keep saying Ed Gamble. He's not a boy. I mean, he is a boy. That's right. Um, gender is a construct in any case. It's not to do with... I was just trash talking Ed Gamble. That's what I was doing. Oh, God. Now I'm going to be cancelled. Being sexist. Yeah, Gamble's not a threat. None of them are a threat. None of them want it as much as I do. Thanks to RWGD underscore who subscribed with Prime. That is very kind of you. Please do continue to subscribe. I haven't looked at the current numbers of subscriptions, but uh, it's not as good as it was back in uh, April. That's all I can tell you. And uh, as long as everyone's giving their subscriptions to someone else, I don't care, but... Uh, Ah, um, it's free money. I would like to take as much money off Ian Amazon as possible, preferably, preferably more than his wife got, and and then spend it on making hopefully sketches that we can film with a crew out in the world. But I will continue doing uh, Twitch fun. I don't think there's going to be one this week. But, you know, I looked down saw my Tam O'Shanta character there, which I used in a little uh, pre-record I did for the. Go 8-bit. And, you know, it seems like he should be doing a Hootenanny Hogmanay. So you never know. They, they may pop out for a second. I'm meant to be doing something on uh, New Year's Eve. I don't know how long that'll go on or when it'll start. So uh, maybe I'll do an early Hootenanny and just sing all the songs again. Ooh. I, Lou Sanders can't take me. It's me all the way. I'm a dark horse. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the chase. Do check that out on ITV Player if you didn't see it. I won loads of money. Ah, I've ruined it for you. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for all the support this year. And, you know, thank me for all the amazing work I've put out. And uh, luckily uh, there's only well, a couple of hundred people at the moment, but uh, maybe a thousand, two thousand people out in the world who appreciate what I'm doing know what a genius I am. One day people will see, don't you worry. One day people will see that and go, how did one man think of this? And be a ventriloquist and be a snooker player. Uh, let's not waste too much time. We are in for, so that Andy McH knows. We're in, uh, I'm, so we're no longer in the Motilal Vora arena. Um, the sad news just came through um, that uh, Mahinda Watsa has uh, died the 96-year-old Indian sexologist. Taken too young. Taken before he'd had enough sex. Um, there's some good choices. Peter Abs. Oh, no, but that's death announced on this date. That doesn't count. You know, because I've got good abs, as you're about to see, for after a... Uh, I've slightly broken my chocolate embargo. A slight, very slightly. I'm surprised I haven't gone more mad. I've eaten some chocolate for the first time in nearly two years of you know, a significant amount. Thank you very much to William Tolan. It took him a little while to be nudged, but he's been subscribed for two months now. He's currently on a one-month streak. Thank you very much. Join him. All that money will just go back into making more content. So it's at the moment, I have to say, the amount of work I'm putting into the Twitch channel is not uh, paid back in cash terms. But uh, I don't mind because I love doing this. And uh, it would be nice, though, if we could fund everything we did through Ian Amazon, wouldn't it? And Ian Sky, who's helping us fund stuff. I want to try and do some extra stuff this year, both with Twitch of Fun and maybe uh, some sitcom stuff as well. But we will see. <sighs> Twitch tends not to pay back in cash terms, says uh, Otter Failure. Um, I think Limmy's doing pretty well on it. So, you know, it's possible. And the the thing is, there's a, something like 60 million Amazon Prime people out there can't be that much in the UK, but there's a lot of people out there who have no idea about this. And you know, if a million people did it every month, I probably wouldn't bother doing Twitch anymore. Oh, no, I'd have to. 
Amazon can spare the cash. That is true. So let's take it off them. Uh, Ali Fan has bought every single bit of Rich Herring product this year except for Warming Up Volume 2. If anyone has a copy of Warming Up Volume 2, they can give to Ali Fan. Uh, let me know. Um, it was a rarer book. So anyway, poor old Mahinda Watsa. Um, I don't need to tell you too much about him. He um, quite important figure, actually. Won many accolades and awards. Uh, had sex columns. Helped to bring India uh, into the... Uh, 21st century in regards of uh, understanding sex um, and uh, he died uh, of natural causes on the 28th of December 2020 that's why we've named this after him and I'm pretty sure uh, with a glowing testament like that um, that uh, his family won't object his wife's dead so should be okay right let's crack on because I can't be asked for this buy uh, but become a badger uh, there's a big end of year uh, draw as always. Um, we do them every month, but they put in extra prizes in the end of December once. So that's coming up soon, and there'll be nine more names drawn out of the hat, and you'll get a pack of Pooh Man cards, which I have to tell you that uh, Marat Larwood invented, which I have to tell you are excellent. Um, so it's, we've been playing it a lot, and the kids love it. I think adults might like it too. Um, and uh, so do become a badger. Go fasterstrike.com slash badges. Before the end of the year, if you want to be involved in that draw, but you'll be in every draw you have, you know, as long as you remember. Three pounds a month, get loads of extra stuff, you know what's going on. Lovely badge and membership wallet, all sorts. Oh, right. Let's do this snooker. Let's do it. So, uh, first frame up today, me 18, oversharing me, taking on me 12, messing me. I'm not interested in either of these characters. I don't care who wins. Uh, let's uh, see oversharing me is just uh, sitting down now. Here he is. Hi, Richard. Uh, how are you doing? Um, I once did a shit uh, 100 yards from my front door because I couldn't hold on any longer. Yeah, I didn't ask you about that. I see you're wearing a uh, I prefer me Too" t-shirt there. That's quite controversial, giving me one uh, is sharing the bill with you tonight. Well, I'm wearing it uh, because I am a big fan of me Too's. I don't like me one. Um, and... Uh, uh, I once wanked me too off. That's why I'm. That's why I'm. You don't really need to tell us all of this uh, stuff, you know. I think a lot of a lot of the me's have wanked off me too, and um, they don't go on about it. You know, you can keep this to yourself. Uh, I wouldn't if I wouldn't be me eighteen if I wasn't oversharing, Richard. That's as I understand it. Yeah. Anything good happened over Christmas? You want to share about? Um, I don't think I've done anything too bad over Christmas. Um, no, nope, can't think of anything actually. Well, that's a, that makes it that makes a change. <laughs> yeah, quite happy with myself. Good. Uh, well, and how do you think you're going to get on? Uh, let's have a look at your current record. You can look up in the. This book is up to date for most of the players, of course. Me, eighteen. Um, too much information is your catch uh, is, uh, is your nickname. I once pooed my pants at work is uh, your your catchphrase. Uh, you've played two, won one, lost one, but you hadn't picked up a snooker stick before April the twenty twenty. So that's not bad. Uh, that's certainly didn't stop you winning one match before being knocked out. That's what uh, that's that's what my bio says in uh, well read out. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, now I can just see me eighteen. Don't care about these two. Me eighteen's just getting up. Uh, he is playing, of course, me 12. I'll look me 12 up before I uh, see him. Uh, he's played 2 1 0 and lost 2. How the hell he's got through to. Um, how the hell he wasn't in the first round? He's played 2 and lost 2. And he's meant to be Jesus. He believes he might be Jesus, which probably explains why he waited till he was 52 to take up the sport. Because he assumed he'd be in heaven now. For someone with magical powers of a man god, his snooker has not been up to much. Uh, his catchphrase is snooker not less GB snookered. He's just sitting down now. Peace be with you unto my friend. Uh, I noticed you are also wearing a I prefer me too t-shirt. Is that uh, is that sending out a message to your rivals, me one particularly? Richard, I love all men equally and women and children. I love them all and animals and uh, all of the creations of my father who art. Garfunkel is a fan of as well, I believe. Good. I mean, should we just get this one over with? Uh, don't get things over with lest you 
be be got over with. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's just yeah, it's... um, yeah, I'm very tired. Uh, uh, can you cure tiredness? Yes, my child. For it is written, he shall come who shall uh, wake up the weary, and shall invigorate those who haven't had a nap that day but probably needed one. Feel the same. Have a drink of whiskey. Well, if you, if thou, for that is my blood on which this church shall be built. Okay. You now have my body in your mouth. How is it? It's quite, um, uh, it's stinging me a bit. Yeah, it will do. That's what my body does. Go suck it. Suck the my body. In your mouth, just suck. That any better? No. It's better for me. What's going on with you? That's not what Jesus is like. I'm not saying I'm Jesus. That is for other people to say. But uh, if you were to do a taste test between Jesus' spunk and my spunk, I think it would be pretty hard to tell us apart. That's all I'm saying. I was drinking whiskey. It is my body which is given unto thee. Drink it in remembrance of my spunk. All right. You've had, I think you've had too much whiskey messing out with me. Let's get down on the old green board. We've got uh, player one, player two. Sorry, commentator one, commentator two. Commentator two has barely spoken for months. Let's see if we get something out of him in his last commentary. Uh, he's always there in the box. Um, his last commentary of 2020. How are you doing, commentator one? Well, Richard, I'm doing pretty well. I'm hoping I can be heard okay. Uh, seeing the mics were put in the wrong way around. I meant to check the news today before uh, before I came up. Just so I could have some witty uh, uh, comparisons to make, but I forgot. So um guess it's Brexit. Brexit all the way. Um, hope the uh, Me18 won't be Brexiting from the contest at this point as he steps up to the hockey, pulling up his trousers. He removes his reading glasses, as so many of the players do. Uh, pretty much everyone's gone in off in the last, this round. Let's see how it goes. He hasn't gone enough and he's potted one. What an amazing start for oversharing me. Uh, I think he could clear the board from here. This could be a clearance first time ever. Oh no, he's gone in off instead. So he got, he's gone in off on the second. It's sort of basically the same thing. He got a point and, and then went in off the blue. So uh, it's the same as usual. He's four points behind without the other player having started, but a bit of excitement there. Here comes Messonite me 12. Oh, he hit that a bit hard, a little bit too hard. Didn't go down and oversharing me, trying an unusual attempt to do a plant, I think, but he hit the cue ball just the way he had the bridge, he hit it very much to the uh, right. Here comes Messer Knight me. And you could see that was gonna go in off. I don't know why he did that, but that's even things up. It's five all and oversharing me. Goes back to the Oki that he's so familiar with. These two have won one frame between them in their each, uh, all, all together in their careers. Uh, messing like me, currently at the hockey. Sorry, this isn't the hockey, the hockey's at the beginning. Has uh, never won a frame. Oversharing me, here he comes. Oh, that's nice. He's back in the lead. Uh, the smart money has to be on him. Oh, although he missed that one quite badly. It's uh, calculating, calculating, me 18, 6, me 12, 5. Me 12 could equalise here with this red. He's done it. That's very nice. He's going for the green. Very far away from getting that. It's 6 all. And uh, oversharing me. That's a fairly easy red. He just has to be careful not to... That was nice. What he did there was nice. He didn't. He didn't foul on that. He's going to have to go for the blue. Should have done better with that. But he leaps ahead. 7-6. It's all happening here. I don't need the robot voice when it's just adding one on. Here comes me 12. Uh, using some of his Jesus-like powers there to confound his critics. Oversharing me. He thinks he can plant. He's very wrong. Messonite me. It's 
you going to pop that blue? Beautifully done. Just as Jesus parted the waters to let Moses through, you know, in theory. Um, Jesus there. Plant put the blue in to help out me 18, calculating, calculating, me 18, 12, me 12, 6. And it is me 18. It's, he's opening up a lead that some would say is unassailable. Could have done with putting that one in to help. A mess of night, me. Not really got anything on here. He's going to try and double. No. Ooh. I mean, that one's too close to hit, I think, for oversharing me. This is weak play from both players. You wouldn't think one of them was the son of God, is what I'm saying, but this one apparently is. And there, I think maybe we're seeing why. Because he could pot some easy reds. He's going to have to go for the pink. Oh, he's gone in off. Nearly potted a... So not going well for Messer Knight, me. He picks up a point, but gives away six points. This seems to be developing. Calculating, calculating, me 18, 18, me 12. Calculating, 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 seven. So me 18 has to be confident now. A decent break here. And it's all over. Bar the shouting. That's, that's the me 18. That won one frame in the previous tournament. That's the B18 that won one frame in a previous tournament. But he's leaping ahead, break of five there. Calculating, calculating, me 18, 23, me 12. Calculating, 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 still seven. And me 12 needs to pull something out of his magic sack. And that was not good. Me 18, he's going for the same ball. No, nothing there. Me 12. They're going to have to start playing a bit better. And that is not better, that is just equally as bad. Me 18. Just tries to whack him and nearly works for him. Me 12, surely. Yeah, this is a difficult shot. He's got a. Oh, he's missed it altogether. It's really not me at 12's day. He's now 20 points behind. And just made the angle a little bit easier for me, 18. Starting for me, yeah, for me, 18. But he hasn't managed to get on pink or... He's not really got anything here. He's going to go for the brown. Nearly pots the blue. Doesn't matter. He's 21 points ahead. It's 28 plays seven. And uh, don't really fancy messing like me. After what he said about spunk. Oh, messing like me. Me 18, me 18, yes. Oh, fails to pot, nearly pots the green. Me 12. That's more like it. And can he come back from the dead to prove that he truly is the son of God? Doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. He's uh, now just 20 behind though. And remember, You only have to get the points at the end. Me 18 fails there, and this surely is me 12 chance. That's nice. Has he got enough room to pop this pink? Because if he does, he's back in this game. He does. He's done it. Brought the cue ball sharp around the table, but he may have forgotten the pink goes right there. Oh, he's basically snookered himself quite effectively as well. Can he spin this round? No, he can't do that. Can he come off the cup cushion? No. Can he come off through there? No. Just gonna, can he get a little edge? No. So he's got to break a seven, but he doesn't want to fuck it up. But he has fucked it up and he's hit the blue. So he's got a break of seven. I mean, it was gives away three, calculating, calculating, me 18, 33, me 12, 15, and it's a uh, free ball. Uh, 
Yeah, that counts. That yellow counts as a red. That's one point to me, 18. So that highest break of the match, I think, possibly, of seven didn't do me 12 any good. In fact, there's a break of six. High scoring stuff now. Maybe they're getting their eye in. If we can go the first three ball break of the match. Not like that. But a lovely snooker, perhaps. Maybe that's what he was going for. This is a runaway for oversharing me. That is such a hard shot to get out of. Messiah messing like me. Oh, close. But uh, gives four points away. It's been called a free ball again because you can't see the whole thing and that's what the referee thinks is the rule. So uh, this is a red from me 18. That's nice. And maybe sensibly putting it right up there. Oh, this is just put it's 44 place 15. Another phenomenal snooker. Missed. Oh dear. And me 12 is shouting out, why hast thou forsaken me to his dad? And you have to ask, why would why would God put this man on earth just to be humiliated in this way? Beautiful play from me, 18. Break of three already. He makes it five, comes up the table. Look at that. Now that's what you call skill. It's a little bit of a stretch, but surely he's got to get it in. He does, comes down the table. Look at this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can he make it 12? No, he's hit that. Oh, has he? Has he? Yeah. Eight points. Surely it's all over. Calculating, calculating. Me, 18, 56. Me, 12, 15. Me, 12 is more than 22 points behind. Need some snookers. But uh, never give up faith is his view. However bad it looks, here is me, me 12, trying for that snooker, failing and really just setting up quite a straight brown, which uh, is taken with joy. And look at that, there's some good play now from, over, from oversharing me. A bit unlucky there, is he gonna be really unlucky? No. Surely we can call it quits at 60 place 15. But uh, if you have faith in your Lord, tries to get behind the black, fails. What do you think about this commentator too? I think uh, that me, uh, 18, is going to win. Well, he's left it. Me, 12. Has nothing to get behind. Me, 18, just has to be patient. Hope one of his balls goes in. Me 12. Can he get this one of the snookers here? No. No is the simple answer, he cannot. Don't think me 18 can get that in though. Me 12. It can be difficult not to pop this one. Me 18. There we go, surely it's over now. But uh, remember the record books will look poorly upon B18 if he leaves with just 15. But it looks like he's going to. Because here comes me 12, me 18, sorry. Sorry, me 12, oh, you know what I mean. Me 12 is back in this, he's, oh, he's miscued. It's not his day. Oh. And I think me 12 might just put us all out of our misery now. Just try and score a few points just for the record books. He gets 30, break of 13, highest break of the match to end on. 
And that can't be bad. It's 71 plays 28. Comprehensive victory for me 18. Me 18 is the winner. He's through. The person who's gone first has won every single frame so far in this first round. Despite having incurred uh, penalties in every occasion, I think. That's Messinagny. Played three frames, lost three frames. That one by 40-something points, 43 points, something like that. Terrible. Back to you, Richard, in the studio. Well, thank you. Hopefully, referee one will be setting up the table or the board behind me. Uh, that was embarrassing. I felt embarrassed for a man claiming he was the son of God and it going so badly for him. Let's quickly talk to him. How do you feel that went? Well, Richard, it reminds me of the time that I was put in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights without any Easter eggs or anything or any kind of sweets. And I came through that. The devil came. He said, do you want a Mars bar? I said, I do really quite want one. I'm really hungry, but I won't have one just in case this is a test of some kind. And he came back with um, a Domino's pizza, really nice one, from the chicken barbecue one. He was really hungry. He said, just have a little bit of it. I'm sure that'll be okay. And I said, well, I really like it, but just in case, I won't have any, just in case this is a test of some kind. Did that for 40 days, 40 nights, Richard, and I only failed the test 500 times. So I believe this was a test. I'm in the wilderness again. And my fan friend, I'll be back. And you'll see when I'm crowned champion snooker player of all time, you will know me by my m multicolored cloak. I think you might have mixed up your Bible stories there. Uh, Messer Knight, me 12. No one's going to miss you. <laughs> me 18. How are you feeling? Phil, I played well, Richard. Um, I wanted to do a fart during most of the match, but I held it in. And that's why my bum crack was showing, but also I was secretly hoping my bum crack was showing because I thought that would be both funny and sexually alluring. Okay, we've heard enough from you. We'll see you again in round two uh, when you'll be playing the winner of the next match. Me three or me one. What an exciting frame for the start of... Uh, just for the for round one. Me three, me one. They played twice uh, in the canonical... Uh, games of me one versus me two me three came in to replace map replace me two for a while beat me one on both occasions then played me two and i think me two might have beaten him uh, apart from that as far as i can see they haven't played so this will be interesting to see how they get on an open content uh, contest but i can see me three is just sitting down uh, how you doing me three very well richard love to be back um I was disappointed, I have to say that i didn't make it into the elite tournament uh i know that uh i got to this the semi-finals of the first tournament. I got to... Um, well, I can't really read this because my uh, I haven't got my reading glasses on. I got all the way through to uh, the quarterfinals, did I? Yeah. Quarterfinals of the next tournament, and yet still that semi-finals and quarterfinals was not good enough to see me in the elites, which, uh, when you look at Me Too's progress, uh, seems a bit off to me. I notice you are wearing an I Prefer Me Too I'm hazing my opponent, Richard, there with my prefer Me Too uh, t-shirt. So hopefully that will rile him up, make him unable to play. Um, and, uh, yeah, looking forward to this. Uh, as the only out gay player, I think we've made it pretty clear that Mess and I and me may have some uh, homosexual tendencies. Uh, I think most of the me's do, believe me. Uh, I, I'm not someone who's going to spill any secrets, but... Uh, after the match, um, I've seen all the me's in a bath after the match, apart from me 11, and uh, who showers alone. And uh, I don't think I'm the only uh, the only one with that proclivity, but I'm the only one who's out. I'm out and I'm proud. And I'm hoping uh, the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual community will uh, be behind me, what I'm doing. Yeah, I guess. Um, and um, do you think you can beat me one? He's the elite champion. It would be wonderful, given I wasn't in the elite championship, to just immediately defeat the elite champion, wouldn't it? So I'm going all out. I've come out and I'm going out. That's And I'm going out, out, like Mickey Flanagan. Okay.
good. Uh, me one's just sitting down. The elite, reigning elite champion. Very lucky to get an interview with him. We had to pay quite a lot of money to get him in here. Um, how are we doing, me one? Richard, great to be back. Um, you know, I've missed the tournaments. It's been nice playing uh, against me too. He's had a bit of luck, I think, me too, in the... The frames we played. It's nice to have the whole thing televised and recorded um, now and uh, put down for posterity on YouTube. It doesn't just disappear on Twitch anymore, which is good. So people can be watching this in 100 years' time and marvelling at my skill and realising I am the best. I'm looking forward to this. Shall we get on with it so that you can go to bed? That is very kind of you, me one. Let's see if a referee want to set up the table. Back over to commentator one, commentator two. Good to hear from commentator two this week. In the um, Mahinda Watsa Arena. Yeah, sorry, uh, referee one I had to go and uh, fill in some paperwork. It's just now coming to the board to uh, set up, but it means we get a rare. Okay, we had a rare chance to see him. See how he prepares the old board for such an important match. You can see what the condition he's keeping this in. Absolutely perfect for tournament play. Um, he's a man who takes great pride in his work, and rightly so. He's never been blasted into the heart of the sun, I don't think, unless I'm thinking of the other one. And uh, yeah, he's a credit to the the sport and to his mum. Apart from last week when he, uh, you know, he fucked up that whole thing. We had to redo a whole frame, which was annoying. So here we go. It's a me three to break. Me three was drawn from the old herring bag first. Will he beat the curse of, of getting a foul on the first go? Uh, and will he maintain the amazing record of the player going first, having won every single frame so far? He hasn't gone in off. And nor has he potted anything. That's amazing. That is the best we've seen anyone do on the first shot. On the first go uh, for quite a while. Uh, me one. Elite champion. And that's why. Look at that shot. Very nearly nearly got that into the hole. And that's why he's the elite champion. Me three. Smarting from not being in the elite championship. But maybe that was why. Look at how badly he was there. Oh, and that's beautiful for me one. Don't be sorry. Me one, one point ahead. He's already scored as many points as are in his name. He'll be hoping to score more. Ooh, nearly pockets a, uh, a, a red there when he was trying to go for the blue, but uh, calculating, calculating. Me three, zero. Me one, one. Here comes me three. Having to be careful not to... Make any mistakes there, but uh, that was good. Except he's let me one in a little bit here, I think. Me one, beautiful. And you can see why this guy, the confidence this guy has, and the he's very practiced. That's two balls he's put down to zero from his opponent, and that's possibly the extra practice. Me three. Oh, how did that red there not go down? Uh, making that that pocket is trouble for later, I think. Not sure who this was, that go, actually. They potted it and it went followed through. Anyone know whose go that was? I have a feeling that was uh, me one. Anyone concur? I'll have a drink of whiskey and see if anyone agrees. Yeah, someone's agreed that it's me one. That's, that's enough for me, yes. And four points go to gay me three. He's in the lead. He hasn't potted a ball and his opponent's potted three. And that is one of the amazing things about snooker, that that can happen. This happens a lot in the two-player game as well. Oh, me three missed and got it on the rebound. A bit, little bit lucky. Me one. Oh, maybe a bit shaken by his mistake. But he's actually got pretty close to a snooker there. Me three gets out of it and pots. Pots that ball and... Is on the black. Well, this is all this 
has put the cat amongst the pigeons. There's a break of eight. Second highest break of the night, I think. Does he think he can sneak that pass in the centre pocket? He does and he can. And look at this. That could be, this could be the clearance we'd all been dreaming of. Oh, except he got missed the black. Look, he was on the red and everything. So me three gets an amazing break of nine. Calculating, calculating, me three, 13. Me one, two. Me one does have a chance now. Can he profit where me three fucked up? I think he's gonna go for the blue. Oh, there's some high quality play here. Look at that, that's nice. Not fantastic positioning on the next ball, but he feels he can carry on, I think. No, oh, that was a little bit too straight, ironically. Uh, and me three comes in. He's been given an opportunity. He might have thought he'd blown it, but the opportunity's back. Oh, he's nudged that black a little bit too far. I don't think anything's going to go down for him here. That wasn't a gay thing there. I was just talking about snooker. He's going for the black. Oh, that was bad. So me three. He's bumped up to 14. Me one is not going to go down easily. Again, I'm not, I'm, I'm not deliberately making fellatio puns. Me one. He pots. Can he get this black into the centre pocket? I would say impossible. And I was right. But can he get into the bottom pocket now? Calculating, calculating, me three, 14, me one, nine. We knew this was going to be an amazing contest. Oh, me three, that jingled and jangled in the pocket. Like something to do with Brexit. And me one. Tries to double up, fails. Me three, is this the opening he was looking for? Again, I'm not trying to look for sexual things here. Oh, unlucky from me three, another jingle and jangle. Like, jingle bells jingling, me one. Oh, picks up on the error and oh my stars. This could be a costly mistake from me three. Look at this, he's come right round. So he hasn't snooked himself unless they get the black ball gets in the way. Beautiful break of eight. I think it's over now for me one, but that gets him back in the game. Very much so. In fact, more than back in the game, he is now ahead. Calculating, calculating, me three, 14, me one, 17. And as he snookered, me one, I'm sorry, me three, me three is snookered. He's gonna come off this cushion. This is gonna be hard. Yeah, he, that, well, it's, I'm glad that went in and off because that was, I think he double hit it with his cue in any case and that. Stop having doing the action replays. Me one suddenly has taken command and uh, tries to double that red ball in the center, messes it up. And me three could be back in here, my goodness. How quickly, oh, much too hard from me three. He was just tried to poke it much too hard. Me one. He also doesn't hit it very well, me three. Oh, my stars. He's coming from behind. Oh, that was unlucky. And he might have got a snooker there. It's 15, plays 21. Me one at the hockey. That was an amazing shot. Look at how amazing that was. To double that yellow in, also release the, the green. And he's got it. Look at that. On for the brown. And could me one, could this be his cakewalk home? Not with that. Not like that. But he's got five points. Takes him up to 26. He's 11 ahead and he may have got a snooker there. Might have been what he was playing for. Me three. Going for the brown. Hits the brown solidly right in its middle. Me one. Oh, undercuts it. And it's not over yet. Me three. <sighs> Me one. And that was a bit of a miss hit. But what a shot from Me one. It's gone in. 
It wasn't a miss hit at all. Oh, but he's missed that one. Surely that wasn't. So me one gets four and gives away five. Oh, and that miss could weigh heavily. Calculating, calculating. Me 320, me 130. 18 points on the table. Me three to play. Camp commentator two, what do we think is going to happen? Well, one of the people that Richard Herring is pretending to be will win, but it's both Richard Herring, so it doesn't really matter. Me three. Let's commentator one again. Oh, I thought he was going to miss, but he pit it perfectly. And suddenly, it's as exciting as it can be. Surely he can't get this pink back in the same way. Oh, nearly did it. Is he going to go in off? Oh, oh my stars. I mean, this could be the final, couldn't it? It's 25 place 30. Me one at the hockey. Will he try to pot this or will he play the safety? He's tried to pot it. He very nearly potted it. <sighs> Me three has a chance here. Oh, he's just, just sliced it too close. But has he got a snooker? You know what? I think he has. Me one. Oh, he's miss hit it. Me miss, me one miss hit it. He's now a point behind. Me three. Oh, if he got that, he would. Oh, Jesus. If he got that, then. Oh, me one. Oh, Jesus. Louisus. This is so tense. Me three. Tries to get behind the black. Fails. Me one. Is he trying to double it? Is he? Oh no, me one. He's made another error. He could have handed this to me three. He's the elite reigning champion. 37 place 30. If me three can pot. 37. Thank you. If me three can pot this pink. Oh, he's hit it much too tight. Me one knows he can't pot this pink from here. He has to be careful not to pot the black. Oh, what a fucking chump. Me one. Gives away seven points and suddenly it was looking like it was the elite champions all the way. And now it's 44 plays 30. With the easiest pink you've ever seen for me three. You don't usually see him going for the pink, but he's gone for it today. And doesn't matter, he missed the black. He's won by 20 clear points, and that's all down to errors made by me one, who had it in the palm of his hand and threw it away. 40 plays 30, and that's still 100% victories for me three. Sorry, 50 plays 30. You are right, 50 plays 30. Um, me three continues his reign of terror over me one, the normal man. He will be playing me 18 in the next round. Me 37, uh, the, imp the impressionist me will be playing the Viking me and me 18 overshare me will be playing gay me. Me 3, the reigning elite champion has gone. He's out of here. Me 3, very popular player. He has... Uh, very unlucky not to be in the elite championship. He played 8-1-4, lost 2 made two quarterfinals, one semi-final of the two tournaments he's played. Me one, on the other hand, played, I haven't got my glasses, eight, one, six, lost three. So, you know, he's done a little bit better, but that's largely down to the elite tournament. Um, extraordinary scenes, Richard, I think you'll agree. And I think we can all agree that self-playing snooker is still the greatest sport of 2020. I know where the glasses are, so I just can't be able to pick them up. Let's go back to Richard Herring in the studio. Well, I'm delighted it's over. Uh, I, that was very exciting. Very sad for me, one who was um, the architect of his own defeat. And I will take a sip of whiskey after coming up with such a beautiful thing to say. Nearly 200 people watched that. And that's just live. Think how many more tens of people will see it when it's on YouTube. Uh, me one, you seem to have it in the palm of your hands, and then bang, it was gone. How do you feel, Richard? Devastated uh, to go out in the first round. Um, it's not something that is in me one's vocabulary. Um, 
Uh, you know, I know I'm still the reigning champion of the tournaments until this tournament is over. But I know unless uh, drug tests come through and me three is found to have some poppers in the system or something, then um, I'm out. And uh, yeah, I made what did I make? Nine, 19 points of errors and I lost by one point. If that, if you take those nine, I lost by 20. So and you know, we'd still be playing on the black, wouldn't we? So. I only have myself to blame, and I'll be blaming myself, but taking out on my family who have been annoying over Christmas, I have to say. When will this lockdown end, Richard? When will it end? It's a good question, me one. Uh, please be kind to your family. Um, and uh, let's talk to Victorious Me Three. Did he win it, or did Me One throw it away? What do you think, Me Three? I think I won it. I think I put him off with the T-shirt, though he himself was wearing the I prefer Me Two T-shirt, possibly as a way of trying to get back at me. I don't know. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, it was touch and go, and uh, I thought I was out, but I I stuck in there, and that's what you got to do. You just never give up, never surrender, and uh, it's a great victory i know me one is the probably the most homophobic of all the bees it's not a problem within the me community generally speaking so um but me one has the biggest problem with it i think out of everyone so it's nice to give him a good stuffing three nil overall i've beaten him three times uh i think i have the measure him i think uh, he's my little bitch i don't think he'll ever beat me and i'm looking forward to progressing into the winning this tournament hopefully being included in the next elite tournament which hopefully me one won't be allowed in because he lost in the first round which i don't think i've ever done have i quarterfinals semi-finals well how far will i go this time well fascinating snooker interesting stuff we will be back next week uh unless we do one before then i really don't think we will uh where me 16 who i hardly even remind you is the scotch me this is a fantastic uh lineup play me 838 king of the world me come on and uh, me 19 successful me very popular character only missed out on being in the preliminary rounds because he won just a special one that we put on that he happened to be in playing me too so me too has the chance to progress further in this tournament than me one he hasn't done well in any of the tournaments could this be his turn to shine we will find out next time my fine friends before the year is out we have one more Rahalastapa, which is on wednesday at 8 p.m with Catherine bohart um, and uh, there's a new Rahalastapa coming up on Wednesday with Lou Conlon, which we're doing as a podcast. And I don't think we're doing anything on New Year's Eve, but you never can tell, can you? You never know. So if you're having a birthday, make sure you send in a card just in case. Um, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for all your support in 2020. I hope 2021 will be the year that self-playing snooker goes mainstream. We're on the BBC. We're on BBC Two this year, but hopefully BBC One, the whole thing, not just four-minute highlights, probably the whole tournament properly covered by the BBC. And uh, disgraceful we didn't win Sports Personality of the Year, but uh, there we go. I've only had four whiskeys, you know, four shots of whiskey, uh, so I don't think it affected the play too much. Also, I wasn't playing. I was just sitting here watching. Um, okay, take care, everyone. See you next time on Self Playing Snooker, the next round. And we'll, after next week, we'll almost know the full <laughs> lineup for the first half of the half. Bye.